Hi, and welcome to another episode of Baranov TV, designed to demystify the world of accounts and tax and to help your business grow. Now, throughout lockdown and coronavirus, we've obviously been trying to get as much information out to clients and contacts as possible. Um, and the majority of people were very aware of C-bills, so coronavirus business interruption loans, and later the bounce back loans that came along. The majority of people we're aware of that needed finance have applied for finance, they've got their finance, um, but we have heard over recent weeks that the requirements for the C-bill side of things have been eased and it has become easier to obtain finance through that scheme. So what we wanted to do this week is make sure that everybody is aware of the difference between the two options and the fact that, as I say, the C-bills application process and the requirements for a positive result have been made easier. Um, so without further ado, I thought I'd give you some stats that were sent to us by one of our contacts in the finance world, Sharon, um, earlier this week. They're stats that were, came from the government site, um, so gov.uk, dated the 9th of August. And those stats showed that there have been a phenomenal number of applications under both schemes, as you'd expect, um, because so many businesses have been adversely affected and have looked to finance to support them throughout the, the recovery process. Um, so as far as bounce back loans are concerned, we'll do those first as they're the, the lower level. Um, as of the 9th of August, £34.96 billion pounds had been lent over 1.157 million facilities out of 1.4 million applications that had been su submitted to the various banks. Um, from a C-bills point of view, those same, that same period as to the 9th of August, um, 13.41 billion had been lent. So, um, a fraction really, just over a third of the amount lent under the, the bounce back loan scheme, um, which was just under 60,000 facilities, so 59,520 facilities, um, out of 121,000 applications. So around about the 50% success rate. And if you look at the number of um, C-bills that have been um, applied for, 120,000, it's not actually that many when you think that um, bounce back loans, 1.4 million. Um, so whether that's because they were so much more difficult to get, whether that's because the the amount required was so much higher and businesses just felt they didn't need that. I'm not sure. I don't have the information. But if you are still unsure about whether you need finance, now is the time to get your application in once you've made that decision. Um, the bounce back loans are available only until November, but C-bills are only available until September. And the application process is still taking around two weeks, if not longer. So we're, as I'm recording this, we're the 18th of August. So that's not very long to get a decision made, get your application in and deal with any queries and get funds sorted um, before they close in September. So um, a reminder that um, C-bills is for lending over the 50,000 mark, so 50,001 pounds upwards, up to a maximum of five million pounds. Um, the term is up to six years with nothing to pay in terms of interest or repayments or set up fees, etc., for the first 12 months. And there are no early repayment um, penalties. So if you do decide that you don't need the funds or you don't need all of it, or you can repay it quicker, then you can just pay it back. Um, and there are no personal guarantees required below the £250,000 mark. Um, so that's the C-bill side of things. Um, and there are now over 90 lenders in the C-bills arena. Um, and those are banks, the new finance houses, um, the new alternative finance um, options. Those are all now in the market and they've all got themselves organised a lot better than they were when we were all scurrying around trying to work out who was going to be on the panel and who wasn't. So there are now 90 lenders um, plus out of that. You'll have seen the Funding Circle TV ads, I'm sure, but people like Iwaka are also in the marketplace and they are they do have funds, they are promoting that they do have money and that they are um, in the market and looking for people to lend to. So if you're not sure, uh, 
um, it is possible to still get that for those funds. We have heard that some of the banks are saying they have no more money to give to these schemes. Um, another reason why now is the time, if you're not sure, to make that decision and get that application in. Um, a, a rundown on the bounce back loan side of things. This is the entry level side of things. So this is from £2,000 up to the £50,000 mark, a maximum of 25% of your turnover. Um, so you do need to bear that in mind if you're putting an application in. Again, there are no repayments um, or interest to be paid within that first 12 month period. So um, we have heard of businesses that are taking the funds, putting them in a bank account in case they need them or in case they they think that they come up with an option that would give them an opportunity to use the funds as capital in that next 12 month period. Um, the interest rate on a bounce back loan is fixed at 2.5% annually um, and there is six years, a six year term, maximum term on it. And again, there is no um, penalty for repaying that early. So if you do decide that you want to apply, if you've got an idea of something that you think you might need it for, or if you think you may need the capital to, to help the business, if the, the recovery hasn't quite been as you thought it might be, um, it might be worth taking those funds, popping them in a bank account and having them on standby. Um, so th think about it again if you haven't already taken out funding. Um, you can only have one or the other. So if you do, have you, if you have had a bounce back loan and you feel that you might need to go beyond and have another tranche of money, um, you may need to apply for a C bills, which you will need to pay off that original bounce back loan as well. But obviously, as ever, if you're not sure, do get in touch, do give us a ring. We can take you through the process um, and, and give you whatever support you need to do that. Um, otherwise, I will see you all very soon.